I also loved how they played around with the mutants this time. The thing is, the mutant characters made for the franchise kind of lost steam after a while. You had the big ones like Baxter Stockman, Bebop and Rocksteady, maybe Leatherhead and Mondo Gecko if you're a super fan, but all the mutants in this movie are actual mutants from the shows and toys. Yep, Wingnut was a pre-existing mutant. So was Ray Filet. Yes, even Genghis Frog was an actual pre-existing mutant from the franchise. So with this back catalog of honestly forgettable mutants, the filmmakers switched some things up. They made Wingnut more mechanical, like a cyborg, made Leatherhead Australian, made Ray Filet a wannabe singer, changed up the genders for several of the mutants. Honestly, I kind of preferred this version of the mutants just because they managed to actually stand out and be interesting instead of just another toy you can buy or a one-time character in the TV show. 